Controversial artwork in New Haven shows a pig wearing a police hat. The city asking the artist to move that work. And that whole thing sparking a debate now about the freedom of expression. The art was designed to be part of a citywide e exhibition this coming weekend. News 8's Jackie Slater tells us why this is igniting the debate. Urban totems, four unique symbols of a movement to engage people in the inner city. Choose shooting hoops over trouble. The series was designed to be part of a citywide open space festival this weekend in New Haven. The idea is to invite different neighborhoods around New Haven to host an exhibition that is unjuried and uncensored. New Haven based artist Gordon Skinner is the man behind the hoops. All four were displayed outside of the armory on Gough Street. But now one hangs in art space downtown after the city parks and rec department asked for it to be moved. The armory, a city owned building. The artwork, a pig wearing a police cap. It is a bit disappointing that it's not there and the fact that it's not on a totem as it was supposed to be because there are two, there were supposed to be two freestanding pieces. This is where it was originally placed within yards of the Whaley Avenue Correctional Facility. I would describe it as an iconic figure, you know, highly identifiable. Parks and Rec said they received complaints about the image, one from a cop and one from a correctional officer who works next door. Skinner says the artwork, titled Cops, isn't a symbol of disrespect, but a representation of what is happening in society. Well, it's bigger than me. Um, it's just my way of responding to the tragic events that have happened recently. While no longer in its intended location, Skinner says he's happy the piece has people talking and is bringing attention to a national crisis. It's really doing its part in starting a dialogue um, for the community I'm a part of. So it's already made me proud. As Jackie Slater reporting, Art Space is hosting a public forum to discuss that artwork this Thursday night. We did reach out to the Parks and Rec Department for comment, but they did not return our calls.